Um, I started and finished A Night in the Woods. Um, the only thing I knew about this game going into it was that Simer did not like it. I didn't... No, no, no. It's not that I didn't like it. It's that oh. I didn't like the ending. Oh, so you finished it too? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't really know how to explain this game without... Well, basically... Okay. You assume the role... I played it on the Switch, which just came out. You assume the role of a... All these... these there's no people in this game. They're all animals. Anthropomorphic so, animals. Anthropomorphic... Yeah, I can't say that word. I even, like, <laughs> split the word up into three sections on my Word document right here to try to, like, pronounce it properly, and I still messed it up. So thank you, Simer. And you assume the role of May, a feline who has dropped out of college and returned home, and you kind of experience this story she has upon coming home. First time in two years, you know, she has all these relationships with friends, um, with her parents, and for me... I think the game got really good once I stopped, like, wondering when the game was going to get good. And what I mean by that is, like, I expected, like, okay, when's this story going to ramp up? When's this big plot twist going to happen? When's this, that, and the other? And then I learned, I finally understood that this is just, uh, it's a story with slight, pla slight platforming in it. And uh, you experience May's story, and you can build relationships with people in a very, very light level. You get to choose who you spend your time with, with what friends. All these characters have their own issues, and they're very relatable issues. And overall, I would say, like, the, I think the writing is phenomenal. I think these characters are very well written. It's not a very happy game, would you say, Steimer? No, I, and I... The thing, I think that the game shines in the exact moments that you're talking about, where it is like, this is just kind of a quiet game, and it's about when it focuses on the relationships with people and sort of the, the struggles of wondering kind of what you're doing in life or what's going on. Like, I, I liked that part a lot. Mm -hmm. What I didn't like was when they tried to throw in the other storyline yeah. that I'm... I'll just say it's cult-related. And, like, it's just... That, to me, I, I hated it because I just felt like it was so unnecessary and out of place. Like... I think the game would have been stronger if it had just been more of a statement about, uh, like, her personal struggle. 100%. And I still am not quite sure what that whole cult story was all about. Right. And it was they, really confusing. Yeah, and uh, I, I wouldn't, I mean, I guess my personal opinion, I think it hurt the overall experience that I had with the game. I know some people are really into it because it does speak on some real world issues that we're currently facing. Uh, if Did you, you guys look at it not be way? super vague about that? Like, I don't know what you're talking yeah. about. We, I was trying to be super vague. Can you oh, not? Sorry, can we, you just, we could do a just... spoiler warning right now and then say it. Yeah, I think a spoiler warning is fair. That game's been out for quite some time, right? Been out for at least, I played it last year. Yeah, it released on PlayStation 4 early last year, Xbox One late last but year. But I think talking about the issues that the characters face isn't necessarily a spoiler, is it? I mean, it's it, just a plot-driven game. Like, there's no other reason to play it. Okay, yeah, so how about yeah. let's do a spoiler warning. If, if for some reason you want to play Night in the Woods completely clear of any indication of what's going to happen, you might want to skip ahead like five minutes. Yes. All right, you've been warned. Okay. Yes, because I, I definitely want to know what you're talking so, Brit, about. So, Britt, you're fresher off. Like, <laughs> the thing, I, yeah. All I remember is a little hazy. So Right, so I still don't totally understand it, but the, the you, you play as May, and she is she has, I don't know if she if that ever talks about what her mental um, health issues are. Like, I think it's some sort of I don't of think it does. Pressure. I think it keeps it vague. Right, and so that's, you know, kind of, and this is what Simon and I were saying was like, okay, if this is a story about a girl going through some issues, like that's, that's a great strong point. Um, but then it kind of turns into the fact that she's being summoned. She's hearing the, the calls of a God. And in order to satiate, to, to satisfy this God, um, members of the town who disguise themselves, it is like their own little cult. They sacrifice, AKA feed this God, um, homeless people, uh, teenagers that don't have any sense of direction, people aren't doing anything with their lives so they can better their community. They want they, they treat their community members fair and they appreciate that anyone trying to come in from the outside is judged harshly and then could be sacrificed to this God because they believe they're doing the right thing. Does that make any sense? <laughs> yeah, it was it's really just, strange. It's, yeah, it's just disturbing, right? But I, I mean, I get, I get that. It's not like too far fetched for a culty thing. It is because like you, you go into is it the graveyard? I don't or like the junk pile. I don't know. There's a 
the place off where you go and you discover that it is a cult. Mm -hmm. And then you go like go down into the mines and then there's you like meet you meet the god, right? Because again, you meet the god either. in a dream. Oh, okay. A dream. Like, the whole sense. thing was just that to me. I was like, all right, this is taking I... a turn that I did not expect this game to take. Yeah, it's it's the, the so the writing and the humor and the banter between the characters it's dry and it's ve it's dry humor and it's really well done and I feel like all these characters are super relatable from the personalities to the personal issues they're facing and that's absolutely where the game shines and if it was just a game about you know this girl coming home from college and facing her demons that's fantastic but uh yeah it takes this really dark twisted turn and I feel like the ending is pretty rushed in a sense like you finally learn what's happening that you have a bunch of people from this community who, um, you know, are trying to keep it within the community, any outsider, anyone they deem not worthy, they kill, then it kind of, like, ends very quickly after that. And it's like, huh? And, yeah, you're like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Um, but what I would say is, like, you know, play the game for the characters. Play it for, the, like I said, the banter, the story. It's, you know, don't, it, that's all it really is. It's just a story. Yes, Dimer. Oh, I was going to say, Andrea, the part you would like the most is that there are sections that are rock band. Or sort of it. There are. Okay. You like because you you are part of a band and so like it'll have you have to do the musical thing, musical yeah. game thing. So Which you I sucked at real bad. I was good I was at the, the first worst. few. I was I was good at the first few, then the last one destroyed me. Um, you do play like I said as man, then you have your friend Gregory, your friend B, and then you have like your parents and who you interact with can depend can affect the ending you get the um. It, they're not that much different. The ending you get is, like I said, depending on who you talk to the most, but even then you just get a few lines of dialogue that I think are a little different. So there is some replayability in that, and I would be interested to go back and play it knowing like what I know now. Uh, but, I mean, you know, it's it's different. It's unlike anything I've played before. I wasn't quite sure what to expect from it. I'm very happy I did play it, though. It was just the ending was a little a little weird, a little wonky. And something I also appreciated about this game, what they do, is you'll meet characters, and then one day they kind of, like, up and go, and they're gone. And you never found out what happened to them. You don't know what their fate was. And it's like, yeah, that's that's kind of like the statement of this game. It's just life. That's just the way it is. And that was cool, too. I think that was my issue. Is like It was trying to be, like, this is life. And it nailed that on a lot of parts. And then, I mean, I guess there are probably cults in small towns killing people. But... Not the majority, I would wager. So, like, that's the part where I was like, okay. I think that, that to me, just felt video game. Right. Do you and think, that's though, what that I... they had to have some kind of element like that in to make it feel like a game? Because, I mean, with this art style and the type of characters that they've created, I mean, you can't really make it a realistic, like, walking sim, right? No, you play platform around, and you can, like, the platforming element is interesting to me or was because there are certain people you can interact with but you only if you can like platform your way to them and I think there was some sort of puzzle element in that like a very very light super light but like you could only go talk to this person if you'd gotten do you remember this Brit like I thought it was just depending on what day it was you know maybe it was I don't remember how so the game well. Yeah, the game takes place over the course of like several days. Like you wake up, you speak with characters, and every and the next day when you go back and speak with them, you know they'll have something new to say based off of what you guys have been talking about. So you wake up, you talk to characters, or you don't talk to them, depending on whatever you want to do. You initiate something, and then you go to bed, and then you wake up again, and then you kind of do the same thing. Um, and it's interesting because even though they are like the super cartoony animals, like I forgot that they were animals in a sense like the writing is super relatable like I said and I understand why they had to choose these cartoony animals because if you chose real people that would probably open up a real big can of worms it'd be real heavy it'd be real heavy um but it definitely gets this message across I would recommend it yeah they plus they threw in the rock band gameplay elements Andrea it's a game <laughs> Well, yeah, I, I, I I'll put it on my of pile like... of shame, but I have to admit that I've got a lot of other stuff that I'm supposed to be playing first. <laughs> it's, no, uh, it's short, too, though. It's only it's not a very long game, which is, I think, right? Yeah, like, like eight, eight to ten eight hours. hours. Yeah, eight to yeah. ten. Okay. Uh, well, that's not bad. Yeah. Shit. I don't know. I forgot what I was going to say. It's okay. <laughs> I'm here to help you, Stimer. Um, so thank you, Britt, for that, um, that recap. I, I don't... 
I don't think what you said was too spoilery, but then again, I didn't play the game, so I couldn't, I couldn't be the best judge, but it sounds, it sounds different than what I originally anticipated. I, I anticipated more of like a small, like cutesy adventure platformer same <laughs> type game. I didn't expect yeah. it to get dark like that, but then again, I didn't I mean, expect I, Life is Strange to get dark like it did either. Eh, I kind of expect that, but, or do you mean the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a like bit episode too. four happens and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. this jumped yeah. the shark or took a really interesting turn or both. Maybe both. Maybe um, both. I kind of, I guess, likened it. What I was going what I'd forgotten about was sort of like Edith Finch in the sense that like it's just more of an interesting statement than it needs to be a game. OK, right. I mean, that's probably why I was nominated for Games for Impact, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah.